Hello! So how y'all doing? Okay, so today I'm coming at you with a review slash tour of this Big Mama, the Chanel DeVille Tote, and this is the extra large size, okay? There are actually four sizes total, at least that's what my initial research confirmed, small, medium, large, XL. This is the Big Mama, the DeVille. Okay, let me tell you the measurements first. No, sorry. First, I want to bring your attention, before I jump in, I want to bring your attention to the information that's in the description of this video. There's a link and it is, I just want you to consider it my formal invitation to you to join my online community. I have my website, my mobile app. I do live sales, multiple live sales every week. And I would love for you to be a part of that. So I would um, encourage you when you're done watching this to circle back around and consider joining my community. Okay, let's go back in. So again, this is the XL. And it is a, as you can see, floppy. This material is, it is a canvas, but it's, I'm going to show you up close the way that it's kind of sewn. It's, it's kind of a unique type of, um, I don't know, whatever feel. Okay. So 20 inches at the bottom. And I just did from here, like from the seam and from the seam. Okay. So seam to seam, it is 20 inches. Now at the widest point, which is some here in the middle and at the top, it's about between 25 to 26 inches. So it's pretty much the same, um, you know, kind of going from the mid to the top. So you can already see, again, it's a big mama. It is 15 inches tall. It's a tall gal. And then also nine inches deep. Now, now nine inches deep is just from curve to curve. Okay, I did not measure that piece down there. Like, see how you have this part? I didn't measure that. I actually measured true, or sorry, curve to curve. But that, I don't even know if that is a true depth because if you have stuff in it and you're setting it on a table, you can see she got hips and it's going to actually be a lot bigger than that. But that's just kind of to give you a rough idea. And then uh, the handles, so these handles, okay, let's do this. These handles here are like four inches. They're about four inches, all right? But the chain is 12 inches. And the, ch the chain is removable and I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so, well, as far as passing the elbow test, see, these don't go down, so... You can see that it does pass the elbow test, but you're having to kind of dork around with those. So anyway, okay, so this is a, a gray color, and then it has a black, like, you know, whatever, trimmer on the top. It's not leather. It's not a leather trim. Um, and I guess I'm really not doing so much just a review tour on the material of it. I really just wanted you to see the size. This is a big moment, okay. But it is canvas. It's a canvas. Uh, I should have actually double checked the material, but anyway, see how it's kind of sewn. It's not like your normal, what you would normally see the way that it's, you know, kind of sewn together. I don't know. And then if you look at the Chanel, cause this is like an off white color. If you look really close, it looks like kind of a basket weave, but it's different than, or maybe it's not, I don't know. See, I don't, I don't really notice a basket weave on this, but I do notice it on the actual letters. But anyway, so, the top trim here is not leather. Okay, this piece here, it is not leather. It is a very hardy, I don't even know what it is. Okay, I really don't. But your handles here are leather. And then of course you've got the metal chain with that same, so the same material that they use for the trim is also the material that is, you know, that's in, inter, interspersed, no, not interspersed, that is intertwined, intertwined, that's what I was looking for. That's intertwined in between the chains, okay? And then it does have silver toned hardware. So you've got these big oversized grommets. Okay. This is definitely going to be more of your beachy tote, your travel tote kind of, um, I don't think you have to be gentle with this bag because it is a hardy bag. Now, as far as the canvas. So if you've ever seen one of the Hermes, um, oh crap, I can't, the, I think it's the hairline, the airline. I don't know. It has a, it's a really hardy canvas or, oh, you know what? If you've ever seen the Prada canopy totes, I happen to have one. The Prada Canopy Totes, now this one's actually denim, so it's not as thick as some of the other ones, but the Prada Canopy Totes have a very, very thick, not this one because it's denim, but they have a very, very thick canvas, okay? So on a scale from one to 10, 10 being like military rucksack, um, I always compare like the Hermes and then the, the Prada Canopy Totes really close to a 10, like a seven. But this is not gonna be maybe a seven, but definitely, uh, it's a hardy, it's a hardy material. Okay. It's pretty thick material. I uh, know you can't really see it. And I am going to show you the inside, but anyway, see, you don't have to really baby it. I mean, it's nice and hardy. It's got that thick trimmer on the, the sides here. And then there are no feet on it. Okay. And personally, I love, I love this color combination, the black and the gray, and then of course silver. I'm a sucker for black and silver though. Okay. So let me show you the inside. 
The inside is a big mama too. So the inside is a textile material. You've got a huge, there's your Chanel plate. You have a huge pocket back here. Okay, this pocket's gonna fit at least two zippy wallets. Okay, I'm not gonna demonstrate it because, well, okay, fine, I will. So two full size zippy wallets. So here's just a Sarah wallet. And then let's grab this zippy wallet. Okay, so two Louis Vuitton wallets and it will fit both of them side to side. See how they lay side to side? So that kind of gives you an idea like how big this pocket is. And it is a zipper closure, so you don't have to worry about security because there's not, um, well, the main closure of the bag is just one magnetic snap, okay? Now I will tell you, it's it's a pretty hardy snap, but you can see it's not like anything, you know, it's not, there's not a zipper or anything like that. So, you know, usually on beach totes, you're not really gonna see a very secure, um, you know, closure. But anyway, so you can keep your items that you want secure in this zipper pocket back here. Okay, so let me close that up. Now, what's really cool is it has two pockets on either side, two huge slip pockets on either side. So you have this one here. That's going to fit a bottle of water, even a big bottle of water. Same on the other side. You have another huge slip pocket on the other side. I love big totes that have big slip pockets like that. Okay, and then on this back wall here, you have... It's not the size of the back wall, but it is, and it's not even the size of the zipper pocket on the other side, but it is a big pocket and then a smaller one over to the side. So here, let's just say, so you've got that pocket here. You have two slip pockets. Wait, let's just do this. You may not be able to tell. Okay, yeah, there you go. So you have the smaller pocket there, and then you've got the bigger one on that back wall. And then again, on the other side, you have a very big zipper uh, pocket and then the two big ones on the side. And you also have a key finder. You have this little key finder with a clasp on it, okay? So that way you're not, because you can clearly see, because it's so slouchy and everything else, I mean, you're gonna, and it's a black hole because you do have that black interior, okay? And like I said, these these uh, chains, they do come out, so they have these, it's got one of these kind of closure things. So you can take this, you know, it's kind of like your uh, Tiffany necklace. If you have a Tiffany necklace, it's a choker. Sometimes they have this closure like this. So it fits to these grommets. Now, one thing about this tote is, here, I'm going to take, I'm going to actually take these chains off because I do want to show you something close up. Okay. So this could be something, what I'm about to show you could be something that is common with these bags or it could not be. I really don't know. Um, this bag is currently available on my mobile app and on my website and in my web store. And it's a consignment item. So I had a client that had this bag and she only used it for, she did buy it pre-loved, but um, she only used it for a very short time. And she only used it, I think over like uh, travel for Christmas. And so I don't know how much she loaded it down and I, I, I don't know, okay? So there is that because, you know, the bag is heavy on its own, even though it's just, it's just this raw, you know, it's not coated canvas, but it's still, I mean, it's a big moment. So it definitely does have amount of weight to it when it's empty. So you can imagine it probably wouldn't take much to make it super heavy. And again, I don't know how much she had in it and I don't know if she was carrying it by those or what, but anyway, what happened, what had happened was it started to kind of fray. Now the little coating, that blue plastic thing, that's still on here. That's kind of what you're seeing. But what happened is the material started to kind of come apart. It's starting to fray. Now I didn't do it around all of them. Like this one's still intact. That's how it should look. And again, what that tinge that you're seeing, that blue tinge is that pla is the uh, little plastic coating, okay? So it did it on the one side, and then on the other side, you, you've got the same thing. You've got some frays going on here, and then here's this other one. So I'm guessing that, you know, there was just maybe a lot of rubbing with the chains, with that little, you know, this part here. Let me show you. There could have been a lot of, it could have had something to do with the weight of the bag, like everything that maybe she had in it. Again, I don't know for sure. I'm just kind of taking a guess. But it also could have had something to do with this, maybe rubbing against it. I really don't know. And then again, it really could be something that maybe could be common with the bag. That I don't know either. Um, but I can tell you that the bag by itself, just like this, is got a good amount of weight to it. And then these, you know, this is not some piece of crap chain. This is like a hardy metal. So these by themselves are a nice weight, okay? And so anyway, um, so there's that. But because I have a relationship with Rago Brothers, they're over in New Jersey and they specialize in fixing luxury bags and things like that. So 
this this is to them because I actually sent him pictures. I sent Tony pictures of what was going on and said, "Can you fix this?" He says, "Yes, I can." So this is not anything that can't be fixed. Okay, it's not like you're gonna, you know, get this bag or someone's gonna get this bag and then they're just gonna be screwed because they have that going on. And in fact, if I remember right, it wasn't a, a hearty fee to get those fixed. But I know that my clients get special pricing. So anyway, I know it's not gonna be what, you know, maybe someone calling off the street would pay. So just know that if you were, if you're watching this video and you're interested in this bag and you reach out and you're like, well, I don't know, uh, you know, it can't, I did reach out to Rago Brothers myself and I do know that it can be repaired for a very, you know, modest cost. And the price that the bag is on my website is taking into consideration that it would need to be repaired. Uh, but you, you know, you guys know, Chanel, even if there's, you know, some sort of, imperfection or whatever is so pricey. I mean, Chanel bags are Chanel bags. They're just, they're pricey. But anyway, I basically just wanted to do the video. I know I'm going off a tangent, sorry. I just mainly wanted you to see the size of this because if you're going on, you know, a resale website and you're looking at all the sizes, it's really hard to tell unless someone is standing, you know, next to each other with, you know, four people carrying all sizes. It's really hard to tell, kind of gauge what the actual size is. Well, you can see I'm 5'6", okay? I'm 5'6", I'm this this shirt actually kind of makes me feel I feel like I'm pear shaped. I'm actually not now I'm not like a Victoria's Secret model by any means, but I actually don't have a pear shape. But this shirt makes me look like I do. So anyway, just I'm five six and I'm kind of I don't know whatever normal size. And this is how it looks on me. Okay, I uh, probably need to back that camera up a little bit. Let me see if I can. Let Mama see if her can do it. Let's just back it up a little bit. Oops. I don't want you to see the outside. Um, okay, that's not really much better. Well, you get the idea. Okay, you don't, I mean, how much do you need to see for crying out loud? Okay, it's better than some of the mod shots people do, y'all. So there you go. So I hope this was helpful. Again, there's four sizes. This is the biggest one, the XL, the Big Mama, the Coup de Gras. And um, going back to what I said initially, I would love for you to consider my formal invitation to join my luxury shopping events that happen every week. You download my mobile app and just visit my web store and all of the information you need is that one link in the description. So I hope to see you soon. Okay, bye!